Hi everyone, I hope you are doing really well and welcome to another yoga practice. So the sun has been coming out earlier which is wonderful and today's practice is a morning flow. I haven't really done a lot today so this is the first thing that I'm doing this morning so we'll practice together. Whenever you are ready, come to find a comfortable seat on your mat. So take your time, organize yourself. I myself feel quite fidgety today, as you can probably see. I just did this earlier on today. So um, let's just get straight into it. Come to a nice seat, any way that you feel comfortable, and just go ahead and maybe close down the eyes. Notice if you're being fidgety like me and then just become aware of it. Any last wiggles, any movements that you want to make, go ahead and then find stillness. Noticing your posture, noticing your face and noticing your breath. Following your inhales and following your exhales. Slowly begin to deepen through your breath. So begin to take longer, deeper, fuller breaths. Breathing in nice and slow and breathing out nice and slow. Following the movement in your body as you follow your breath. If you wish, Bring one hand onto the heart and one hand onto the belly. Find that connection to your breath, that connection to your body, and that connection to yourself. Continue to take those nice deep breaths in and out. Noticing the rise and fall of the chest the belly, anything else. Releasing your hands, take a moment, noticing yourself, bring the hands together at the heart center and maybe use this time to set an intention for your practice. If that's something that you like to do, you can also choose to do nothing and just observe. Let's take an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart. Blinking the eyes open, reach the arms all the way up one more time, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Breathing in, bringing the palms together, maybe you watch them touch. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to come onto all fours, so go ahead and release the hands and set up in your tabletop position. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Press the palms away as you spread the fingers wide. Inhale. On your exhale, tuck the tailbone under, begin to round through your spine, squeezing the belly in, looking towards your navel. Inhale, tuck the tailbone out, drop the belly, look ahead or up. Let's exhale, round, separating the shoulder blades, chin into chest. Inhale, drop the belly, look ahead or up. Good, and again, try to follow the movement in your spine as you exhale and round, press the floor away. And same on the way up, as you arch your spine, drop the belly, look ahead or up. Come to a neutral spine on your next exhale and take the hands a little bit further forwards, finding a little bit more space. On your next inhale, right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it through underneath the left. We're going to inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale to thread it through, finding that rotation. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, thread it through underneath the left arm. 
And this time, let's come onto your right temple, right side of your face. Come up onto your left fingertips. Really rotate a little bit more. And then exhale, left arm reaches long. Keep extending the left arm forwards and the right arm through, rotating and lengthening. Keep breathing, noticing your shoulders, the backs of your shoulders. On your next inhale, bring the left hand back in and take the right arm all the way up to the ceiling one more time. Exhale, right hand to mat. Let's repeat that on the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it through underneath the right. Inhale, extend the left arm. Exhale, thread it through. And again, inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, thread it through underneath the right arm. And this time, come to the left side of your face, your temple, your cheek, wherever you are comfortable. Coming up onto your right fingertips, find a little extra rotation, right shoulder up. And then extend the right arm out long. Extending into that right shoulder, notice how you feel. And rotating through the backs of your shoulders, chest and collarbone. Try to stay nice and open, keeping your neck relaxed. Noticing the twist in your body. Noticing maybe how you feel on this side. On your next inhale, right hand comes back in. Left arm reaches all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, left hand to mat. Back onto all fours. Coming down onto your forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, round your spine, chin into chest. Inhale to arch as you drop the belly, look ahead or up. And keep going, exhale to round, squeeze the belly in, separate your shoulder blades. And inhale to drop the belly, look ahead or up. And again, exhale round. And inhale, arch. On your next exhale, come to a neutral spine. Come back up onto your hands. Let's tuck the toes under, hips to the heels, heels towards the floor, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and have a pedal through the feet, bending one knee, pushing the opposite heel to the floor, pressing the floor away through your palms, lengthening, extending your spine, pressing your hips up. Coming to stillness, heels towards the floor. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, extend the right leg back behind, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, step it through. Come up onto your fingertips, look ahead. On your exhale, left foot steps forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach all the way up one more time. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, press the palms, step the left leg back, step the right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, Left Leg Lifts, Three-Legged Dog. Exhale, Bend the Knee, Step it through in between your hands, up onto your fingertips, look ahead. Exhale, Right Foot Steps Through, Forward Fold. Inhale, Flat Back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up one more time. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. 
Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, press the palm, step the right leg, and the left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here, and exhale. Noticing your shoulders, noticing your legs, hips up, spine long. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee, stack through your hips, reaching that foot behind the left leg. Notice the stretch in the front of your right leg. On your next exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Inhale, extend, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Step the right foot in between your hands. Settle in through your feet. Inhale to rise up to your high lunge. Breathe out, stay here. Reaching the arms up. Let's go ahead and interlace the fingers, pointing through your index fingers, reaching the arms up and back, opening through those shoulders. On your exhale, hands onto your hip, straighten your front leg and fold over that right leg as you pull your right hip back, long pyramid pose. Bend into your front knee, inhale, arms reach up, Opening up into your warrior two, plant the back heel, front knee bent, arms long. Look ahead of your right fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. Exhale, side angle pose. Bringing the right arm onto your right leg, left arm sweeps across the left ear, long left side body. Stay grounded and strong through your legs. Option to bring that right hand to the floor. Staying strong, lengthening your left side body. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. On your next exhale, straighten your front leg, both arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Let's inhale, straighten the front leg, arms reach up, palms touch. And exhale, warrior two. And again, inhale, arms reach up, triangle. And exhale, warrior two, bend the front knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. Exhale, side angle pose. Any side angle pose, you can bring that right hand to the floor, maybe you have blocks, or you can go ahead and find a bind. Reaching the left shoulder up towards the ceiling, staying strong through that front leg. Keep reaching, pinning that left foot down to the mat. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale. On your next exhale, we're going to come all the way up, reverse our warrior one more time. And exhale to sit into the left hip, finding Skandasana side lunge. Right leg long. Inhale. On your next exhale, come into a wide-legged forward fold. Both feet parallel, maybe toes turned in towards each other. Inhale, look ahead. On your exhale, fold as you bring the crown of the head towards the floor. Take the arms back behind, interlace your fingers, bringing the palms up to the ceiling. You can pulse the arms if it feels nice for you here. Releasing the crown of the head, the back of the neck towards the floor. Pressing your hips up, legs back. Squeezing those legs, grounding through your feet. On your next inhale, slowly release the hands, bring them back down onto the mat. And exhale, walk your hands over into your right leg. Inhale, rising up to your high lunge. Bring the palms to face forwards. Bend the elbows, bringing them in line with your shoulders. And then squeeze the arms in towards each other, wrapping the left arm over the right. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, maybe you find a back bend. Maybe you sink deeper through your right knee. Slowly inhale, come back. Reach the arms up as you undo them.
and exhale take the arms back behind straighten your front leg grabbing onto opposite elbows at the back or maybe reverse prayer bend into the front knee bring the back foot slightly in so you're a little bit shorter finding a pyramid pose and then exhale fold over your right leg pulling the right hip back you can keep your spine long or fold over that leg focus on the stretch in the back of your right leg your right hamstring finding that grounding action through your feet on your next inhale bend into your front knee release the hands to mat take the left leg long take the right leg back any plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog Good. take a breath here notice how you feel on that right side and on that left side inhale lift the left leg three-legged dog bend the knee stack through your hips really opening through on that side inhale on your exhale left knee to nose squeeze inhale extend three-legged dog Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Step the left foot in between your hands. On your inhale, rise up to your high lunge, reaching the arms up, lengthening and exhaling, sinking through your hips. Let's interlace the fingers. Try to do the opposite of what you did on the first side reaching the arms up and back finding that opening through those shoulders on your next exhale bring your hands onto your hips straighten your front leg and fold over in your long pyramid pose any feet any hands keep pulling the left hip back remember to go easy on yourself maybe you're still warming up we yeah, aren't that far into the practice yet Bend into your front knee now. Reach the arms all the way up and over as you ground the right heel, warrior two. Flip the left palm up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, left arm onto that left leg, side angle pose. Right arm reaches across the right ear, fingers reach forwards. Lengthening that right side body. Maybe you want to bring that left hand to mat. Maybe you want to find that bind. Maybe you want to stay here depending on how you feel. Wherever you are, keep that right side body nice and long. Stay strong through your front leg. Keep breathing. Slowly, let's inhale. Reverse our warrior. Left arm reaches up and over. On your next exhale, bring both arms to the top, palms touch as you straighten the left leg in your triangle variation. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extend, arms reach up. Exhale, bend your front knee, warrior two. Inhale, extend, palms together. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Let's flip the left palm up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose, any side angle pose. Maybe you wanna keep your left arm on that leg, on the floor, or maybe find a bind. I know I did it um, twice on this side, so feel free to choose whatever option works for you. Rotating your right shoulder up to the ceiling if you do have a bind here. Staying strong through your front leg. Slowly go ahead and release. On your next inhale, come up, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches up and over. On your exhale, come to your side lunge in your right hip. So lengthen that left leg, bend the right knee. Use your hands to support you on your way here. On your next inhale, make your way into your wide-legged forward fold with a flat back. 
on your next inhale bring your hands onto your hips come all the way up to stand in your wide-legged stance let's heel toe the feet closer in towards each other and turn the toes out in your goddess stance so go with whatever works for you here bring your hands to heart and exhale sit into your hips bending into the knees strong with your legs on your next inhale reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling as you straighten your legs press into the heels squeeze your glutes exhale to sit back into your goddess pose and repeat inhale to come up and exhale to lower one more time inhale sweep the arms up come up and exhale to sit back down in your goddess pose breathing in on your exhale forward fold taking your legs out wide feet parallel let's grab onto the big toes take a big breath in look ahead on your exhale fold bending into the elbows pulling your face closer in between your legs crown of the head towards the floor keep pressing those hips up as you press actively into the feet big stretch in the backs of your legs keep breathing on your next inhale slowly come up release the toes and then walk into your left leg turning both feet forwards bend the front knee plant your feet inhale reach the arms up in your high lunge bring the palms to face forwards bend the elbows towards the shoulders and then squeeze the arms in towards each other right over the left finding your eagle arms inhale reach the arms up and exhale finding a back bend maybe sitting deeper through your hips bending the front knee a little bit more inhale slowly come back to center exhale release your arms Take them all the way back behind, grabbing onto opposite elbows or maybe prayer hands anywhere along your back. Bring your back foot in a little bit. Maybe toes turned out to the side. Both legs straight. Inhale, lift the heart. On your exhale, pull the left hip back as you hinge forwards, finding your pyramid fold. Keep pulling that left hip back. Feel the activation in your left leg. Pressing into your left heel, squeezing that left glute. Stay wherever with your upper body. It can be quite tricky with the arms back behind. So stay strong through your legs. Stay with your breath and your focus. Let's bend into the front knee. Place the palms to frame the front foot. Take the right leg back, stepping it long. And then take the left leg back, any plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. On your next inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale to bend the knees, look ahead. Inhale to step, float or jump to the top of the mat in a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Stay in your forward fold. Take the hands behind to grab the back of your ankles or the soles of your feet. Elbows bent, pull your face closer towards your legs. Any other hamstring stretch if this does not work for you. Inhale, go ahead and release and come all the way up to stand, bringing the palms to touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's shift the weight into the right leg now. Inhale, lift the left knee up, arms reach up. On your exhale, hinge forwards, take the left leg back in your warrior three. Stay strong through that right leg. Inhale, swing the left leg round to the front, knee into chest, arms up. And exhale, take it all the way back. Stay strong. You got it. You got it. Inhale, come up, knee into chest, arms reach up. And exhale one more time. Take it all the way back in your warrior three. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, point the toes, bend the front knee and land the back toes. Big step, high lunge. On your next exhale, bring the back knee down, tuck the toes out, low lunge. Hands onto your hips. Settle in through your feet, maybe go a little bit longer if that's available to you. 
inhale reach the arms up interlacing your fingers arms reach up and back big shoulder stretch find a nice bend look towards the ceiling if that's comfortable for you slowly maybe releasing the hands to the floor or you can keep them where they are or bringing them down towards the mat on your fingertips maybe finding a little bit more space for your neck for your back slowly begin to back off nice and slow take your time come to the front straighten your right leg and fold over any hands any arms pull that right hip back point the toes towards you let's inhale step the right foot as you bend into the knee tuck the back toes under bring your hands onto that front leg and then slowly option to bring the back uh, lift the back foot up pointing the toes up left hand to the left foot press it in towards your left glute stay strong with your balance let the right hand support you if you're comfortable here option to slide the foot to your inner elbow left inner elbow so gently sliding it there stay here stay focused option to take the right arm all the way overhead and maybe your hands find each other finding a bind here in your mermaid bind stay anywhere along the way that works for you and keep your gaze wherever you find useful for your balance and for your focus take your time nice and slow when you are ready release the right hand and release the left leg nice and slow take your time bring the hands to frame the front foot tuck the back toes under and then straighten the front leg as you exhale pulling that right hip back long pyramid pose mine is super big maybe yours isn't that big wherever you are notice focus on that stretch in the front leg bending into your front knee press the palms actively into the mat and then take the right leg all the way back behind bend the knee and flip your dog right foot behind the left leg finding your wild thing release the right hand squeeze your glutes open your heart press away through your feet strong through that left arm slowly begin to close one step at a time right hand to mat right leg reaches up three-legged dog inhale on your exhale bend the knee bring the right foot to the outside of the left hand extending into that leg inhale left arm reaches up fallen triangle stay strong through your balance using your limbs to support you on your next exhale left hand to mat slide the right knee in between your hands coming into your pigeon pose so you can go nice and wide with that knee bringing your right foot towards the outer edge or the left outer edge of the mat increase it at increasing that angle in the knee or you can keep it quite close i have um, my knee doesn't like to be so open on this side so i'm going to keep mine quite close to me come up onto your fingertips inhale lengthen through your spine crown of your head and exhale to lower yourself towards the floor we're going to inhale roll the spine up and exhale to come back down take the arms out long setting up on your forearms hands forehead finding your sleeping pigeon focusing on that stretch in your outer right hip try to stay still try to take a few calming breaths sending your inhales to the back of your rib cage back of your backs of your lungs and exhale outer right hip on your next inhale slowly come all the way back up bring your hands back in and then swing the left leg round to the front bringing the right foot to the inside of your left leg so i'm just going to turn to face you and i'll be mirroring you through this if you are facing me <laughs> let's bring the left hand to the inside of the left leg inhale right arm reaches up and over so take your time with the right arm really create length in your right side body right arm stay rotated open through your chest and your collarbone and then shorten your left side waist on your next exhale bring the right hand to the floor and reach the left arm up as you lift your hips up 
exhale to lower yourself coming back into that side stretch taking your time finding length maybe finding the foot on your next inhale right hand to mat left arm reaches up press your hips up open your heart and exhale come all the way back down inhale reach the right arm all the way up and over again staying rotated open bring the right hand to mat inhale left arm reaches up and back one more time on your next exhale come all the way back down Take the right arm all the way up and over with your next inhale and stay here. Keep breathing, stay in your side stretch, any variation. Have a play, take a moment to notice yourself. On your next inhale, go ahead and release the right hand, come back to center. We're gonna come back into our pigeon pose, so I'm just gonna turn back. So we're doing the same thing. And then take the left leg back behind, setting up in your pigeon pose. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee up, press the palms into the mat, lift the right knee in, knee to nose. Extend the right leg all the way back behind, three-legged dog. Lengthen that right leg up to the ceiling. And then exhale, lower down from your down dog, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one full breath. Notice your shoulders. Notice your legs. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale to step, float or jump top of your mat, half lift. Exhale to fold, maybe taking the arms behind your calves, finding that forward fold, finding that hamstring stretch. Any other stretch is fine too. Notice how you feel really pressing your hips up, squeezing the backs of your legs as you press into your heels. On your next inhale, go ahead and release. Come all the way up to stand, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's repeat that on the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Shifting the weight into your left leg this time. Inhale, right knee lifts, knee into chest, arms reach up. Stay with your balance. On your next exhale, take the right leg all the way back behind warrior three as you hinge forwards. Inhale, bring the right leg all the way back up, knee into chest, arms up. Exhale, take it back. Stay strong in that left leg. You're doing really well. One more time, come all the way back to the front, right knee into chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. Take a big breath in, really point your right toes. On your exhale, bend into your left knee, step the right leg back. Nice, big step, high lunge. Arms reach up. Slowly exhale, lower the back knee, tuck the toes out, hands onto your hips. Settle in through your feet. Feel free to change your stance, go wider, go longer. On your next inhale, sweep the arms all the way to the top, interlacing your fingers. Try to do the opposite of what you did on the first side. Inhale, arms reach up and back, really finding that back bend. Stay engaged through your core, strong through your feet, energized through your legs and your glutes. Option to release the hands, bring the fingertips to the mat either side. Keep finding that heart opening, maybe you look up. Keep breathing. On your next exhale, slowly release, nice and slow, come all the way back to the front, straighten that left leg, hands on hips or the mat. Fold over that left leg, point the left toes, pull the left hip back, big hamstring stretch. And breathe. Bending into your front knee, step the left foot. And bring your hands onto that left leg. Take your time, settle in, finding your balance. Again, you can stay here or Bring the back foot in, pointing the toes up to the ceiling. Option to stay here, feeling that squeeze in the right hamstring. 
You can take your right hand to the foot and press the foot in towards your glute, feeling that big stretch on the front of your right leg. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you slide the foot to your inner right elbow. Keep breathing wherever you are, nice and slow, take your time. Keep the left hand where it is, maybe resting on the leg or maybe you take it all the way up and over and your hands find each other. Make sure your neck is comfortable, staying open through your shoulders, open through your heart, your chest, strong and balanced through your legs. On your next exhale, slowly go ahead and release. Release the bind if you have it. Maybe holding that foot for a moment and then letting it go, taking it all the way back behind. And straighten your left leg one more time, folding over, finding that big stretch in the back of the left leg. Keep pulling that left hip back, keep pointing the toes towards you. Bend into the front knee. Press the palms into the mat, tuck the back toes under and take the left leg back, three-legged dog. Bending the knee, stepping it back behind the right leg, wild thing, straight away. Find that big heart opening, strong through your legs, squeeze your glutes. Right arm strong. Keep breathing. And then slowly make your way back one step at a time, left hand to mat, left leg lifts in your three-legged dog, really extend the left leg, reach it nice and high, breathe in from your three-legged dog, exhale, bend the knee and step the left foot to the outside of the right hand, left leg long, inhale, right arm reaches up, fall in triangle. Keep breathing. Slowly, whenever you have had enough, let's bring the right hand to mat. Bend the left knee and bring your left knee in between your hands, settling in, bringing the back leg down, finding your pigeon pose. Again, feel free to extend that left foot towards the right side of the mat. So maybe, as you can see, I rolled over onto my hip and extended my leg because it feels better for me on this side. So go with whatever feels best for you. A little bit of effort. Come up onto your fingertips, inhale, extend, and exhale to lower your chest towards the floor. On your inhale, roll your spine up. So work with your breath and imagine your spine moving like water. On your next exhale, slowly come all the way back down and release the hands, forearms, forehead, setting yourself up for your sleeping pigeon. Coming to stillness, coming to focus on your breath. Relaxing, softening through your belly, softening all the muscles in your face, guiding your inhales to the backs of your lungs and exhaling outer left hip. Finding effort in being still. Focusing on your breath. Connecting with yourself. On your next inhale, slowly come all the way back up, walk the hands in towards you, and then swing the right leg all the way around to the front. I'm gonna come to face you again, so I will be mirroring you one more time. Left foot to the inside of the right leg, find your seat, and then bring your right arm to the inside of the right leg. Inhale, take the left arm all the way up and over, big side stretch, really extending your left side body, your left arm reaching through your fingertips, rotate it open through your chest, collarbone. Ground it through your hips and your legs. 
exhale left hand to mat inhale reach the right arm all the way up and over pressing your hips up pressing away through your feet and your leg exhale come all the way back down hips to floor right arm to the inside of the right leg again sweep the left arm over and across the left ear big side stretch keep guiding that left knee towards the floor stay nice and open through the chest through the collarbone maybe your hand finds the foot on your next inhale bring the left hand to mat right arm sweeps across open your heart press your hips up on your exhale slowly come all the way back down bring your hips to the mat right arm to the inside of the right leg sweep the left arm up and over in your side stretch keep breathing one more time left hand to mat right arm sweeps up and over press your hips up finding that big back bend and exhale slowly come all the way back down right hand to the inside of the right leg sweep the left arm across maybe the left hand finds the foot maybe the right hand finds the foot any big side stretch variation keep breathing stay grounded looking wherever is comfortable for you slowly go ahead and release the left hand come up to sit and then let's take the right leg all the way back behind pigeon pose left knee forwards so I'm, I just did it again to show you okay let's bring the hands onto the mat tuck the back toes under lift the back knee up press the palms squeeze the left knee knee to nose hold and then take the left leg all the way back behind in your three-legged dog extend the left leg long on your exhale from your three-legged dog chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog take one full breath here on your next inhale come up onto your toes exhale bend the knees look ahead inhale to step float or jump to the top of the mat in a half lift exhale fold maybe taking the arms back behind finding that deeper fold or any other fold that serves you in this moment grounding through your feet pressing your hips up on your next inhale slowly go ahead and release sweep the arms all the way up to the ceiling palms touch at the top exhale hands to heart good on your next inhale we're going to sweep the arms up so reach the arms up to the ceiling as you come up onto the balls of your feet finding your balance really lengthen on your exhale begin to bend into your knees nice and slow take your time bringing your hips towards your heels stay on your toes on the balls of your feet as best as you can and bring yourself all the way down nice and slow stay strong stay engaged through your core once you are here release the heels to the mat sitting in this narrow squat and then let's take the legs out wide so you can jump them out or heel toe them nice and wide in your squat variation maybe toes turned out to the sides from your squat option to come into a crow we are going to jump back you can skip it and come back any way you like but maybe you want to come into a crow pose and then jump back so this is only an option um, just adding a bit of a challenge I'm still fairly new at doing this so mine isn't perfect but it's good to give new things a go <laughs> on your inhale come to your upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog good take a breath notice how you feel in your shoulders notice your legs inhale 
and exhale bring your forearms to the floor coming to a dolphin pose if you have space walk your feet closer in towards you heels towards the floor so keep guiding the heels to the floor and walk in a little bit if you find a little bit of extra space keep pressing your hips up really pressing away through your forearms let's slowly walk the feet back and lift your forearms up one at a time or both together on your next inhale come to the top of your mat in a seated position finding your boat pose straight away or any other way you would like to get here stay strong through your core keep breathing let's bring the hands to heart elbows out to the sides inhale exhale take the right elbow to the right twisting right and then exhale twist left so keep twisting from side to side you can rest the feet on the floor if you like or stay with your legs elevated keep dropping your ribs to your hips squeezing your core as you twist one way and then the other slowly with control keep breathing and keep going you got it on your next inhale when you come back to center arms reach forwards we're going to lower ourselves down in a low boat so head and shoulders legs off the mat bring the right knee into chest exhale left knee into chest right leg long and keep switching keep going option to extend the leg so hugging one leg in as you exhale and then switching legs so one leg out long one leg pulls in option to pulse mini pulse at the top exhale pull the leg in and exhale pull the opposite leg in keep your head and shoulders off the mat pressing your lower back into the mat good okay let's bend both knees bring them in towards you extend the arms out long slowly extend the legs out long in your low boat inhale on your exhale pull yourself up into a boat pose again stay strong through your core you got it keep breathing keep squeezing let's lower the feet onto the mat take the hands back behind fingers face forward drop your knees from left to right windshield wiping your legs out keep the hands where they are we're gonna press into the palms press into the feet and lift up into a reverse plank or reverse tabletop look to the ceiling or ahead you can take the head back only if you're comfortable let's extend the legs out long if that's available to you inhale and exhale bring the hips towards the floor inhale press your hips up knees bent or straight try to keep your feet on the mat whichever option you choose as you come up and then exhale as you bring your hips towards the floor you're gonna come up onto your heels and that's fine so inhale lift up press your hands and your feet into the mat and stay in your reverse plank for a full breath this time when you are finished slowly lower yourself back down and come into a forward fold so um, taking the arms out long and stretching out the backs of your legs let's now come up bend the right knee in keep the right foot here or take it across the left leg option to bend the left knee inhale left arm reaches up exhale wrap it around that right leg or bring elbow to knee taking the right hand behind up onto your fingertips inhale lengthen your right side and exhale twist your right shoulder back keep finding length through your inhales and a deeper feeling deeper twist through your exhales so again it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside go by how you feel let's slowly come all the way back to center release the legs one at a time and then bend the left knee in left foot to the outside of the right leg keep the right leg long or bend the knee bring the foot in towards your hip inhale right arm reaches up exhale wrap it around the left leg or bring elbow to knee left hand goes anywhere behind inhale press away through your left fingertips lengthen through your left shoulder your left side body and exhale twist your left shoulder back keep lengthening through the crown of your head and keep twisting 
bringing your navel away from your left inner thigh. Well done. On your next inhale, slowly make your way back to center and release your legs one at a time. Let them go long. Let's scooch over to the front of the mat if you're not already there, bending into your knees. Bringing your feet up off the mat again, finding your balance. We're going to rock back and forth along the length of our spine on the mat. The next time you come to lie on your back, stay here. Find a happy baby pose. Soles of the feet up to the ceiling. Hands to the backs of the legs or the feet. Knees towards your armpits or the floor. Rock from side to side, maybe. Maybe really pressing your knees away from one another. Feeling the openness through your hips, through your body. Noticing your breath and noticing yourself. Bringing or leaving, letting go of the feet and bringing them down onto the mat. Soles of the feet together, knees falling out to the side. Let's bring one hand onto the heart, one hand onto the belly. Begin to tune into your breath, listening and feeling your breath beneath your palms. Take this moment to maybe bring your awareness, your attention to yourself and maybe expressing gratitude for yourself, for your body, for yourself, for taking the time to practice today to do something that nourishes your body and your soul and gratitude for your body for allowing that movement, that nourishing movement to happen, to occur that we so often take for granted. Feeling all the love, feeling all the gratitude for yourself, for your being, for your body, for your soul. Releasing the hands, bringing the knees back together. Bring the knees towards your chest. As always, if you want to stay in a longer Shavasana, please feel free to stay here. Switch me off. If you are with me, we're going to slowly make our way over onto one side and come up to seated. Take a moment. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Let's take a big breath in. Sweep the arms all the way up to the ceiling, palms touch at the top. On your exhale, left hand to mat, right arm reaches up and over. Big side stretch. Maybe you lower onto your left forearm. Inhale, come all the way back up, palms touch. Exhale, take it over to the other side, right hand to mat. Left arm reaches across the left ear, maybe forearm comes down. On your next inhale, slowly come all the way back up. Bring the palms together at the top. And exhale, hands to heart. You can take this time to maybe come back to that intention if you did set one at the beginning of your practice. And then gently come to bow the head when you are ready. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe it helped you get moving or get going in some way. As always, if you did watch the whole video, thank you so much. I appreciate you a lot. And if you did watch it and did enjoy it, please like this video and subscribe for many more to come. I am really enjoying making these videos for you and I hope you are enjoying them just as much as I am. Thanks again and have a lovely rest of your day. I hope to practice with you again real soon.